don't know why I feel like I have to sing everything. <laughs> hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. Who is ready for this face gym self massage? Um, hi Krista, I see you in here. <laughs> um, okay, today is day two of 14 days of love and mindfulness. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's yoga session with Farron. Um, mom, 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 today we're going to do a little face massage. Show us your armpits. Here, Danny, here's my armpits. <laughs> um, okay, so for those who are participating, make sure your face is clean, cleansed, washed, and make sure your hands are clean too because we're going to get up in there today. All right, let me, um, let me see. Okay. Let's do this. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm really good. Thank you for having us on. Of course, thanks. You, thank you for joining and being a part of this. Oh, pleasure, absolute pleasure. <laughs> How have you been getting on? Good, just you know, still in quarantine, girl. I feel like I feel you. <laughs> we did, we did a session like almost a year ago. That's crazy. Right? Yeah, it was <laughs> nearly a year ago. Yeah, nuts. And we're still here, and we're, we're still, still face sculpting. Here. I know. We're figuring it out though, you know, we're, we're making it happen. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, okay, so we're going to do a full face sculpt with you today, which is super exciting. Yes, and you know I always have like jaw tension because I bite down in my sleep, so I would love to get, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there who kind of have the same issue, so I would love sure. to be able to get in here. Well. Absolutely, we'll do some awesome jaw tension release techniques for you all. Um, I think definitely with the stress of this whole last, I say 2020, 2021, <laughs> um, we definitely all could probably do some tension release moves. So I would absolutely incorporate some in this today. How have you been getting on since our last session? Have you been managing to incorporate some yourself as well? Um, I try to as much as I can. I've been doing a lot of like temple massages Lovely. and again down in here just because I feel... I don't know, maybe from like overthinking or just from when I'm sleeping, it's just tension here. So yeah, yeah, I've been doing a little bit of that. And I have like my jade rollers that I use um, no. and the gua sha that I use sometimes as well. Perfect, awesome. I mean, I can touch on tools if anyone wants to talk about tools, but I know that we're doing a nice hands only, just with some facial oil, full face gold, so everyone can kind of follow along. And I'll obviously try and answer any of your Lovely questions throughout as well. Anyone here? Um, okay, so let's get going. I've got my lovely face gym headband on. You're about yes, to put your on. Have my, and I have this. Oh, so cute. So cute. <laughs> Protecting the hair, guys. Absolutely. So like Richie said, make sure you've got nice clean skin, nice clean hands, because we're going to get all up in some facial massage techniques to sculpt, lift, and tone your lovely facial muscles today. So hopefully you can all join in at home as well. <laughs> Awesome. So should we get going? Yeah, let's do this. Cool. So um, I'm going to use some facial oil today. I've got the firming, face gym firming, because my skin's so dry. I don't know what's going on. I mean, London is freezing, so. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I'm feeling like my, my skin, I don't know, today I woke up and I'm like, I don't know if I'm not drinking enough water or what's happening. It's a little bit cold here. It's not like too bad. It's like the 50s. But, um, but yeah, like my skin feels super dry. So. Mm. Well, this will definitely help then because it will help boost that nutritious blood flow, oxygenate all around the skin and the tissues, which is definitely what we sound like we both need. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with some stretches as always, just to really loosen up this area before we get going. So we always like to do a nice, you probably remember, nice side stretches. And we always take a nice deep breath in, always working on that breath work throughout. And I'm just going to intensify the stretch by placing my hand on that shoulder. And on that exhale, just breathing out and just stretching down this trapezius area. Really nice just to loosen up any of that tension. And then we can swap to that opposite side, hook on that behind the ear, and a nice 
stretch down on that exhale just to release any of that tension that we might have been sleeping on throughout the night as well. Beautiful. And I kind of like to do some head rolls as well. So just really, really gently. Obviously, we don't want to go too far and cause any discomfort, but just to loosen up that neck area. So we'll be doing some nice neck massage movements as well. Super important to start with those stretches. And you know as well from coming into studio, we always start with some nice stretches with our face workouts. And I'm just going to go back that opposite way as well. Perfect. Okay. And then we can really get in with some face massage. So we always start with our oil. Um, I don't know what you're going to use. I'm using this one today. Like I said, that firming. I need all of the hyaluronic in I my ran skin. out of mine. <laughs> oh no! I have a different one, but I should have told Lauren that I needed more. But I do, I do have an oil. <laughs> no problem. We always get loads of oil questions as well when we do lives with people. So, any questions on oil that anyone has at home? Absolutely. But I'm using a face gym one today, just because I've got superfood ingredients. So I'm just going to get them all warmed up in my hands. So put it in the palm. Yeah, I always pop it in the place in the palm of my hand. Like just three drops. I tend to do. Just depending how, three to five drops, how kind of dehydrated your skin's really feeling. And just really warm it up just to activate some ingredients. We don't have any cold hands. Somebody asked, sorry, not to cut you off. Somebody asked, can I use moisturizer? What you want to make sure that you're doing anyone at home is just to have some slip and glide. So the moisturizer we take tends to kind of sink in the skin a little bit too quick. And you don't want to be dragging and tugging at your skin. You don't want to cause any discomfort or harm. So just some nice oils that resonate nicely with your skin that you like. These ones are super lightweight um, tend to steer away from like coconut oils for the skin is a little bit can tend to cause breakouts. I know someone's just said coconut oil. I love it for the hair, but not necessarily for the skin. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so off we go. We're going to start again with just some nice light pressure. We always start with activating that lymphatic system. We start with some nice L shapes and we're just going to put it in the center of the face and then just sweep outwards, just lightly and drain down. And the reason why we do really light pressure here is just because we're just getting that fluid moving, especially if it's first thing in the morning for you. I get really puffy in the morning and it's just activating that lymphatic system. So that's really superficial to the top of the skin. So we're just gonna make sure that we're lightly just starting to move that fluid around. Wait, somebody asked, can I use coconut oil? She said coconut oil is not good for you. It's, it's just quite high on the comedogenic energy. scale. So it tends to break you out, some people that it can do. But again, it's totally different and dependent on that person. And then we're gonna go down that neck. So just really nice light circular motions because the neck is the most important drainage hub. Just making sure all of this lymphatic system is just wake, woken up and just moving that toxins away. What so really, is what time is it? It's 6 p.m. It's the evening. Ah, this is nice for me, I get to unwind. <laughs> is it, was it 10 a.m. for you? It is, yeah. <laughs> Crazy, I can never get used to that time difference. <laughs> So I'm what the benefits of this. So you're going to see, I mean, we're already super sculpted here. I look at Karuchi, she's beautiful. But we're going to basically get some more sculpted, lifted, contouring these facial muscles. We're going to boost some circulation in the skin as well and just really contour these facial structures today. So we're going to start with some face knuckling. Once you've got that lovely application of oil all over your face, we like to go with the knuckles. So what we're going to do now is flat to the knuckles. You can start to use medium pressure. And it's just going to really help to warm up the muscles and the tissues, okay? So we're going to do some nice circular lifting motions on the sides of the neck. I have these long nails. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like not as easy to use my knuckles. I know, I know. They look great, though. <laughs> Thank you. And it's just like the gym. You wouldn't really go into any sculpting techniques until you're nice and warmed up. So this is the idea. We're just generating some nice heat, and we're just doing some lifting up the sides. You want to be really, really careful of this throat area. Don't want to use too much firm pressure there. I'm just going to work on the sides of this platysma muscle here. This is great for anyone that's concerned with fine lines. This is a beautiful way to just start to plump out this area. Okay, and then once you feel lovely and warm here, getting lots of questions about oil, vitamin E oil, if it absolutely works for your skin, absolutely no problem there. And then we're going to work up on the cheeks. 
And we always get questions of, can you leave the oil on your face? I will probably leave the oil on my face tonight and sleep in it because it's super hydrating for me. Again, the one that works with my skin. And this is the firming one from Face Gym I'm using. Or you can absolutely wash it off and then just go with your normal routine. Nice, good technique. So we're just lifting up this cheek area and you'll see me, I'll go nice and rosy. <laughs> Just going to boost that lovely blood flow around which is going to really feed and hydrate our skin from the inside which is amazing we love your claws love that comment there you go <laughs> <laughs> awesome and then we're going to move up once you feel nice and warm we're going to move upwards on to the frontalis which is this muscle here so everyone i hold so much tension in this muscle so you can go back and forth so you can kind of go quite medium pressure and just warm up this area. It's great for any fine lines. We always get like people writing in about forehead lines. This is a yeah. really nice one. Just to start to apply some nice heat here. Yes, guys, I will save this video. Don't worry. <laughs> if you can't do it right now, you can come back to my page. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said they've already done their routine for the day. So we can yes. save it and you can come back and do this in the yes. evening or in the morning tomorrow, guys. Beautiful. Feeling nice and warm? Yes. Perfect. We're going to get even more warm. And I'm going to go into some cardio techniques as well. So we're going to do some whipping, which we're quite known for at Face Gym. And we're going to use the two things that you'll probably remember from our last live. And what we're doing here now, guys, is we're just lifting medium pressure, just causing that vibration. Beautiful. So what this is doing is it's going to boost circulation even more, which is going to generate even more lovely blood flow. So once you've got that technique down, which we have, fantastic. We're now going to bring some speed in. I like to hold my other hand just for support. And you can do this for 30 seconds. It's definitely an arm workout. I always say this. Is my arms are tired already. <laughs> and if you feel it on the arms, just shake it out and then come straight back in. And I like to kind of create like a zigzag just because it get, makes me go through the whole area of the cheek. So with my fingers, I'm just going to work all the way along. Love these comments. <laughs> And then because we've got oil on, you can see we've got a nice slip and glide on our skin, so we're not tugging at the skin at all. So we are literally just boosting that circulation around the tissues. And you can really focus on any nasal labial folds, so these laughter lines. Is it possible to over massage? So yeah, we tend to say like a nice 10 to 15 minutes massage maximum in the day is perfect. That's enough, every single day. It's not really any need to do too much more than that. Um, it's almost like think of it like a back massage. You don't want to, you know, have too many back massages in one day, for example. One is enough, um, but then you can absolutely implement even two minutes a day, just for one area, and the face is enough. We're going to go into some chin exercises as well, guys. So then you can even get up to the under eye area. It's great for any dark circles. What's my favourite oil? Oh, that might have been directed towards you as well. <laughs> well, I mean, my favorite oil is the detox oil from face gym because it's got cucumber in so anyone that gets congestion i'm definitely prone to that it's beautiful it's really lightweight and it really helps to detoxify the skin so you can have a little look at that on face gym's website you can absolutely apply more oil guys if you're finding like your skin's drinking it in which mine does just pop a little bit more on i might need to do that <laughs> yeah definitely somebody asked what oil i'm using I should have been using face gym oil, but I ran out, so I'm using one of my favorite brands, which is... Oh, nice. I like that one. Yeah. Awesome. So once you've done this for a nice 30 seconds, all the way over the face, you can have a little stop and have a little look, and you can actually already see it on mine very, very slightly. And you will as well. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. It just yeah. helps a deep puff. Yeah. And really just drain that fluid out and away and it helps to contour so then we can swap and work back on that opposite side with that whipping so remember start slow get that technique going once you've got that nice vibration this exercise absolutely helps with cheeks it will really help to lift plump and contour this cheek area we'll get to some eye movements as well guys awesome nice job all the way up. It's definitely a workout. <laughs> I'm really hooking into those laughter lines. We're getting a nice eight arm ache. Shake it out. Come back in. <laughs> <laughs> 
and then back up. Awesome. Really working under that under eye just to get that lovely blood flow, stimulating that blood flow, which is really gonna help to hydrate, plump out the skin. Love that, feels lovely. I'm so excited to learn about this. It does feel nice. You actually feel the difference when you're doing it as well, which is the dream. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, when you should A lot of double chin warm. comments. <laughs> a lot of double chin comments. They all want to worry about the chin, yes. We'll totally, this is definitely, this and this, I always get the most questions for. So we'll definitely absolutely do some under the chin, I promise you guys. Um, do you feel nice and warm? I do, yes. Awesome, it's like a nice hum to it. We're going to continue it on the forehead, so you don't want to miss this area out. I like to kind of either do two fingers, or you can just do the one. And it's just doing that same movement, beautiful, all the way back along this area just to get some more heat going into the forehead. How long should we practice this to see results? You can sometimes see a result after one, um, but obviously it takes time. You know, your muscles have memory to build, you know, what you're doing, what you want to achieve. So we tend to do like 14 day challenges after two weeks, after a month, you tend to start noticing the results being more long lasting. And it's all about lymphatic drainage, making sure that fluid's moving, etc. Beautiful, I know it's, Definitely aching your arms. So we're gonna go into some nice sculpting movements. Now we're lovely and warm, our skin is beautiful and warm. We're gonna go into some nice sculpting techniques for you now. So we'll start with the neck and we'll work our way up. This is a really, really common error as well. Obviously the neck is prone like ages quite quickly for us, thinner skin. So we're gonna do some nice things that I call like neck prayers. And you're gonna just start them like so on the throat area. And you're just basically gonna transition that pressure through your palm of your hand, starting on the fingertips. You can do this every day, I just saw a comment, or you can do a few times a week to start to implement these, just a few moves a day, guys. And we're just gonna open up the hands and just sculpt up to the top of the back of the neck. Perfect. And again, repetition is key, so we just need to make sure, you know, if you just do one, it's not gonna do enough, we need to keep going. So we're gonna do at least eight of these, coming to the double chin. <laughs> Perfect. Three. And then the four. Just again, making sure there's no pressure on that throat area. I want to be really careful. Feeling snatched. Love that. Great comments. <laughs> Perfect. You can really get up into the back of that occipital and give it a nice wiggle because we hold so much tension in this area. It's just nice to release that tension. That does feel good back there. Mm. <laughs> perfect nice and then we're going to start to work on this area and again we're going to lighten that pressure a little bit more we're going to just start by sweeping up that neck this is going to start to really help with anyone that's concerned with double chins it's really going to help to start lifting beautiful and you're just kind of working on each fingertip like a fan just up this neck up the platysmal muscle which is a really big muscle perfect you can even get a little bit of speed onto that if you want to. Beautiful. And you can kind of continue it all the way around. I always say we look great when we do these moves. Some of these moves, they really do look hilarious, but <laughs> if you're consistent with it, I promise you start to see some results. I bet it feels like ages since you've actually been to see us. I know, I'm dying so to, come, to come back. Because it's, you know, always nicer when somebody else does it. I know, you can fully relax when someone yeah. does it for you. Yeah, and even with the jaw tension, like, they really get in there, and it's like, oh, it's heaven. Totally, I know. And they get really sculpted away. Anyone that's been to one of our Facebook studios, especially one in LA, oh, they are yeah. amazing. We hope to be open soon. I okay, know. then we're going to work up towards this area now, guys. Again, great for double chin. We're going to start by working with our prayer um, movements. Again, we're gonna start it on that chin and you're just gonna now open up along the jawline and to the ear. And you can even like lean into this move. I kind of like to lean my head down as my hands go, beautiful. So you're literally lifting up all along this jawline. Anyone that's concerned with like the jowl area, because I know again with gravity, this tends to drop quite qu quicker for us. And then sculpting it all back up towards the top of our ear, lovely. And again, making sure you're doing enough of these. We're going to do at least eight. You can always go upwards of that if you feel like you need to, if it's your area of concern. We were speaking about jaw tension. 
So if you feel like you need a little bit more of those, you can absolutely stop and pause those heels on that jaw muscle if you need to. Nice. Do three more. Two. And three. Perfect. And now we're going to go in with some nice jawline hooks. So this will start to ease that tension for you as well that you were talking about. So you can either do a nice V, like a thumb and an index finger, or you can go in with two. I kind of like doing a bit of both, so that's what we can do. So you can start on one side, hook that thumb and that index finger on your jaw. I just like to hold this just lightly for support of the skin and slide up that jawline. Perfect. And again, once you get to that jaw tension that you might feel, just slow down and just kind of ease out that tension. Beautiful, how does it feel? So good. Mm. I need to do this like every morning. Yeah, it's kind of remembering it and getting it into that routine. So someone said they just got here, what does this method do? So we're working on those 40 plus muscles of the face. We always say they're like the forgotten muscles. Um, you work out your body, but we're going to do some, we're showing some nice massage techniques to really ease out facial tension and help to lift and sculpt the facial muscles. So we're just giving a full face technique for you guys today. Nice. And you can sometimes hold it a little bit more tension on one side. I don't know if there's more on one side for you. Nice. Two more. We'll come to eyes, promise. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can swap and work on that other side just to even out that tension. I'm a teeth grinder, so I hold so much on one side. Yeah. Love that. Feels so great. Nice. I'm glad some of you guys are joining in with us at home. Self care is super important, especially at the moment. Mm -hmm, definitely. And um, four. You can use any oil that works with your skin. Um, I love to use, if you're congested, like, like the Detox Oil by Face Gym. Sea Buckthorn Oil is also really nice if you're already congested. Um, but our Face Gym oils are really super and lightweight, so you can have a look on the Face Gym website, and there's a few to pick from for, the, for your different skin needs. Nice. And again, like just slowing down. Is it tighter? I think so. Mm. Is this masseter muscle? So you've got your chewing muscle, which is your, in your jaw here. And it's obviously a really strong muscle that holds so much tension for us. So we can just slide out and iron that tension. And again, once you release that tension, you can streamline and contour your face as well, which we all love. Yes. And then you can go in with the two fingers. So I like to do this just after that move. You can kind of work at the same time now, just to give that a little bit more of a contour. And what, pressure, is, what pressure is this? Kind of like medium you can use here. Okay. Don't want to go too firm that you're causing any discomfort, especially if you've got a lot of tension in there. I always say to people, don't really go with like a 7 out of 10 that's more of a discomfort for you. Mm -hmm. um, just make sure that you're not too light because you want to get deeper to the muscle. So it's more like a medium pressure. Um, so not stretching the skin, don't worry, because we've got a nice slip and glide on. So that's why we make sure you have a nice medium that's going to create that slip so you're not tugging on that skin. But it's always a popular question that we get. And that's why the oil is important opposed to using like a moisturizer. Absolutely. And sometimes I like to use a cleanser. If you've got like an oil-based cleanser that you like to use, super hydrating, especially for dry skin, you can work it in. Even if it's like you're not, you know, you haven't got a lot of time to do a full face routine, just get there in the morning or the evening just in your cleanse for two minutes guys just work on some techniques on areas that are concerns for you and that's a nice way in as well okay then we're going to go in with some nice flicks to the nasal labia folks i know we're going to get some laughter line and um, questions as well so we're going to place one of my favorite moves your index finger on your nasal labia fold you can just turn it outwards and just flick perfect such a simple move, but it really helps. <laughs> it's just boosting again circulation to this area. Someone said oil breaks my skin out. This is a common um, thing that people tend to say, but it actually can help. If you think of like oil, we have oil in our skin. So when you apply oil, it actually like slows down that oil production sometimes for a lot of people. So as long as you're not using a product that blocks the pores, super lightweight, and has nice kind ingredients in there as well. Have a little look at sea buckthorn oil or detox oil from Facia. They are really, really beautiful ones if you're concerned with them breaking you out. 
And you can even lower it down. So anyone that gets concerned with these nice, I say these nice marinette lines we can get, they're expression lines at the end of the day, it can just help to really flick and boost any circulation to really plump out this area as well. I love it. anyone joining in now who are like, oh, what's this? What's, what is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and then we're going to go into the cheek area now, guys. So we can actually do a couple of movies for this cheek area. I'm going to do one that I like to call it's like hand after hand. It's quite a signature one at Face Gym. You're literally, again, going to distribute that pressure from your fingertips to your palm, and you're going to lift it up onto the palm when you get to the cheek, and then this other hand's going to lift up and follow. Beautiful. So it's almost like you're not letting your muscles drop. Perfect, all well done. And you're really just sculpting out. And you can sometimes see such a nice difference just after this move. And again, we've got oil on guys, so we're not gonna pull, <clears throat> excuse me, on that skin at all. It's a really nice sculpting move, especially if you hold tension here, you can just slowly slide up that jawline. Nice, perfect. And we're going to swap and work on that opposite side. Oh, my face is so lovely and warm. Uh, I can feel like my face is lifted too. Perfect. You can, like, when you're talking or you're smiling, it actually feels tighter. Yeah. And that's that healthy, nutritious blood flow that you're boosting around your tissues. Awesome. Nice. Well done. Some nice hand after hand, then we're gonna go in with some nice cheek hooks. So you can go back to that index finger. Sometimes it's actually quite nice to use a knuckle here as well. Again, if you're holding lots of tension, you can try it with this knuckle move. So you can just really contour all the way underneath that cheek bone. Super nice. Again, when you hold it here, it's beautiful for that tension that you might be feeling. Nice. Can you do it in the shower? It's a really good question. You just basically don't want to have that water absorbing the skin too much because you need that slip and that glide in water. It's not really going to last on that skin enough. So you're not going to have probably enough of that slide on the skin. So you can either use this. <laughs> I was using all my knuckles. I know, I'm sorry. I like switched moves. Sorry, halfway. I was just staring at you. And, like... sorry, it's quite I nice. Don't you can do what I just did. <laughs> you're doing really well. <laughs> Or we can go back to these lovely index fingers, <laughs> and you can just slow down. What does this help with? This is going to really help to sculpt and define your facial features and release any unwanted tension in your facial muscles. People forget that you have all these muscles in your face, guys, and you hold so much tension in them. Yeah. So we need to release that as well as the tension in our body. So think of it like a nice back massage. You're going to get a nice lifted result at the end of it. Perfect. Okay, we'll come into those under eyes. Just had a comment for under eyes. What can you do for TMJ tension? This is a really good question. So your TMJ is your joint here that can helps to open and close your, your mouth. And it's basically a really unique joint. This is a really nice one that you can do. Underneath here, just really do some nice slow pressure points on that area. And another one for jaw tension as well, which is gonna be great for you. You can slide up and just rock under that area this is probably gonna be your best move if you're suffering especially if you start here by the ear slide up and just rock side to side do you feel that yeah such a nice one so this is going to really help if you suffer with that tmj area with that disorder of that joint sometimes it can be from teeth grinding you know we've all had a really stressful what feels like 12 months now <laughs> Next month it will be, yeah. Uh... Mm -hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> awesome. Okay, then we can move up to the eye area. So we're just going to continue with these hooks. It's a really nice adaptable uh, technique that you can just kind of achieve great results with all over. So you're going to go right on top of that bone, that orbital bone, just lighten that pressure off, beautiful, ever so slightly, just to make sure, because it's a very delicate area. And we're just going to, Drain upwards. This is beautiful for puffy eyes, this move. What you wanna do for puffy eyes, is just make sure that you're working lightly on that lymphatic system and really drain down the neck. This obviously this holds, it's like the most 
transportation hub for our whole lymphatic system is down the neck. So if you're really puffy in the face, but you're not making sure that it's draining and open all clear fluid down the neck, if there's any blockages, your face will stay quite puffy. It's a good somebody, one. Somebody asked how many times a week should they do Absolutely. This? So you can absolutely start incorporating it a few times a week if you're new to it, because I've realized we're giving them quite a lot of moves right now. Um, and then you can get into it every day. Even 10 minutes a day is a dream, but time I know, but even just two minutes a day on one area, you'll start to notice a difference. I've started to like, even when I, after I wash my face and I put my serum and my mo moisturizer, I'll like kind of massage my face as I'm applying my moisturizer, which helps because it really gets the moisturizer in there. And Absolutely. then it also kind of wakes up my face and like mm. helps it a little bit. Yeah. yeah, that's why I like doing it in the morning because it really wakes your face up. Yeah. And you're so right. You don't just want to place your products on, guys. You want to massage them in, get, really? like you said, the most benefit from your products because you're going to boost and penetrate them in because you're, you're feeding, your blood flow is going to help to feed and nourish those products deeper into the skin. Okay, I talk so much and then I just stare. No. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, girl. Please tell us more. <laughs> oh, thank you. And then we're going to move up to the forehead, guys. Anyone concerned with forehead lines? We're going to start now by working on this. You can only use these two fingers, ring finger and middle finger. And we're just going to start lifting and sculpting all the way along. This is medium to firm pressure you can do here all the way along super relaxing especially if anyone's concerned with any 11 frown lines here you can really get stuck in and just sculpt away back and forth brow tension is real absolutely brow tension is so real i feel like you're either a person that holds jaw tension or brow tension i'm yeah. a jaw tension we'll give you another move for brow tension in a second on the auto one. Yeah, this one was a light to medium pressure. Just be really mindful, obviously, because it's a very delicate area. You have your orbicularis oculi muscle here that you definitely want to work on as well. Nice, and then we're gonna continue this move. We're gonna go to the, our finger pads and just place your fingers above your brow and you can just lift and sculpt up. If we didn't have a hairband on and you could literally bring this all the way back into the back of your head because your muscles do not stop at your hairline, guys. They go all the way back. It's a really, really nice one. It's just gonna push our headband all the way off. <laughs> Can you help with migraine? Yeah, this is great for migraine tension release. So we'll go on to some moves for that now. Okay, so one that you can really help to just sculpt the brow, release any brow tension, and really help with any migraine sufferers, if, especially if you're you know, staring at a computer screen all day, you might be holding it in the eyes. So you can really help to use your thumbs. I'm gonna place just my fingers on the top of my headband. I'm literally just going to press up with medium to firm pressure and sculpt through the brow. It's a really nice one. Lifting up. <laughs> you might be able to do it with your fingers if you're yeah, someone that's good. got longer nails. I'm jealous. <laughs> Nothing's open. I can't get have done. <laughs> you can sculpt through. Oh, actually, you can use maybe just try with your index finger if you've got really beautiful nails. Just lift yeah, through that with that. That could be a nice alternative for you. How can you get rid of puffy eyes? Lymphatic drainage, massage. What we're doing now, even just a couple of minutes a day, targeting your lymphatic system will help to drain any of that stagnant fluid and help with any puffiness. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I get sleepy doing this move. Awesome. <laughs> And there you go. This is a nice full face sculpting. I'm trying to see if there's any other moves that any of you guys want to see. I'm thinking if someone more for double chin, you can absolutely do some heel sweeps as well. It's such a simple move, but it definitely works. Just place light pressure on your thumb and just drain underneath the jawline here. Beautiful technique. Up. Does it matter the order of these moves? So the order is just start with some nice light lymphatic drainage just to apply your oil. It's really light pressure, draining to the lymph. Get in with some knuckles and really warm the tissues up and then you can get into some nice sculpting. We even like to do cardio just to get the tissues nice and warm. And then obviously we've got lovely warm skin now and we're in a sculpting section. So think of it like the gym, warm up, cardio, sculpt. Someone said their face is getting 
itchy. That um, might be the oil, yeah? Absolutely. It could be the oil, depending yeah. on what you're using. Sometimes you get a little bit of an itchy nose, and I notice that we have workouts in the studio as well, and it can be from the, high, the circulation that's boosting round, but you're completely right. It might be the oil that you're using. Yeah, definitely test out different products and see what works best. Mm. All depending you. on your skin type, really. But there is, face gym do different types of oils. Like what detox, if you're really concerned with using an oil <clears throat> or um, congestion, you know, sensitive skin, detox is a really lovely one. We've also got brightening. So if you feel like you just need that boost, that nice glow, that hydration, brightening is beautiful. It's got avocado in there. Or I'm using the firming because it's freezing over here and my skin <laughs> needs all the hydration that it can get. Awesome. We did show some for cheekbones, but don't worry, we're going to save this so you can come back and watch it as well. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. And this is an awesome time if anyone's got any facial tools. I did see some questions. But if anyone's got a gua sha, I know we mentioned earlier about gua sha's or gold rollers or anything like that, you can absolutely get an even better sculpt on with that. Um, anything like face gyms, multi sculpt. I know a few of you have those. Get stuck in and get some sculpting with that. We're going to do some hands today just to make sure everyone kind of join in with that. And then you always want to finish with a cool down. Any questions before we get into the cool down? I'm just looking for. Any questions, guys? Dark circles. This one is good for the dark circles. Beautiful, yeah. And even the whipping. Flicking, the whipping. Absolutely. Look at you. Yeah. You know you're a pro. <laughs> the whipping is beautiful with dark circles because what you want to do is, I suffer with dark circles. It's really hereditary for me. Just boost that circulation to that area on a daily basis. Like you were saying, just waking up your face in the morning is really lovely just to get that nice blood flow to brighten that area. Okay, and then we'll finish with some nice drainage. So we're gonna go back to this L shape. Think about it when you've brought lovely nutritious blood flow to the surface, you've also got some toxins that you wanna drain away and just detoxify out of your system. So we're gonna do some nice light drainage now. We'll get back in with just these lovely sweeps. We're draining to the lymph nodes on the ear. And then we're gonna lightly drain down. It's really easy to apply pressure, but you just wanna be so light because your lymphatic system is very superficial, guys. And it's a very slow moving system. So we're just draining away. You can do it in the morning or the evening. Someone asked about it, should we do it best in the morning? I like to do it in the morning to wake my face up, like we were saying. Or you can do it in the evening to really unwind and relax as well. Totally up to you. I've never done it at night, but I feel like that would be a little nice, like. Mm, like definitely. <laughs> Try it late. Well, you don't want today, so maybe later or tomorrow for sure. Yeah. We're doing some nice neck circles just because it's the most important drainage point. Awesome. And then back on the other side. Somebody asked, how do you know when to apply hard or light pressure? Very good question. So when you want to achieve a change with the muscles, you need to be a little bit firmer because obviously they're under our skin. So they're like the structure of our face, I tend to say. So any areas of muscle tissue, you can apply a little bit more pressure. Around the bone, you need to be super careful. So just light to medium, but it depends what you're doing. Lymphatic drainage, a little bit lighter, because again, it's really close to the surface, that system that we're working on moving. If you want to make a change with the muscles, doing some sculpting techniques, a little bit deeper to the muscles, absolutely. Okay, how are we feeling? I feel good. I can't. I can't stop like. <laughs> I know the neck it's is like the so nicest good. one. I was like, I can yeah. drain down. The Especially neck. like texting and driving and just I don't know. You know, we just tense up so much, so it's nice to have a little bit of a Absolutely. stretch and a release. Especially that the massage that you did back here was like, oh, I never mm. even think to go back there. I know. But it, that occipital feels so good. Especially if you're sitting like this or driving, like you said, and your neck is forward. It's so important to make sure that your posture's right. Um, so massaging the back of the neck is beautiful for sure. And just, like you said, releasing any tension in the shoulders. Mm -hmm. So nice. Okay, do we, I'm let, shall I have a little look if we have any questions here? I don't even know if I can. Yeah, before answer. we close up, guys, any questions you have? Comments. How do you need to drink water? Absolutely. So this is what you want to do now is drink some water. We've obviously boosted our blood flow. We're trying to detoxify any toxins in our system, in our skin. So obviously that's a slow moving system. So flush those out. Um, it's a really, really good question. This has helped relieve some stress. I'm so pleased. We all need that. Yes. So I really help it has. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the love. Have a look on Face Gym's um, Instagram as well. You can see some before and afters. I forgot to 
try and get everyone to take a selfie because it's a really good way to track results for sure. Yes, if anybody who is participating and joined us today, snap a photo, send it to us, tag us. We want to see what you're looking like. Oh, we'd glowing love to see. And yeah, want to see the results. Yes. Those yes. sculpted cheeks for sure. Someone said, do we have any um, studios in DC? We have them in New York and LA um, at the moment. We'd love to open more. So watch this space, obviously, when things get a bit more of a new normal for sure. Somebody ask what your handle is. Let them know. Oh, I love that. My <laughs> handle is my handle is Sophie Ann Perry, A N N E Perry. Um, and you'll see it on Face Gyms. But thank you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. How about I just talked and talked? Because I do talk to that. <laughs> no, we enjoyed it. Thank you so much again for being a part of this. I am so obsessed with Face Gym. I can't wait to go back. I always tell everybody, like, you have to go to this place. It's amazing. Um, and you are always great and so knowledgeable and just really helping all of us out right now during a time where it's just so important to keep our mental health oh, strong yeah. and self-care for sure yeah just do these little things that'll help us um just feel good you know we just need things mm. to help us feel good and to love ourselves and to fulfill us um and to know that we can do these things at home too it's not always you know you have to go out there and and um you know buy a thing or whatever like thank you guys for being so open with you know showing oh. people how to do this at home um, and it's great yeah, and I thank sure. you guys so much this has been thank great you. and you know maybe you know, we'll get together again one day people really absolutely. love absolutely can't we believe it's been a year since we did this but I know, it's like I'm so, so happy we did like, it again and I hope like you guys enjoy it yeah I feel like it wasn't that long ago but then it was but I know yeah, we'll, we'll do something again thank you I know it's evening time over there so enjoy the night <laughs> no problem <laughs> have a beautiful rest of your day thank you so much thank for having you. us on your wellness and thank, yeah, thank you. see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye, guys. <laughs>